Cozy.com is here. Cozy.com is an American website with the biggest collection of chunky yarns for hand knitting in United States and in the world. We are promoting our yarn uh, by making these videos uh, with different kind of patterns for blankets and other items. And um, you can find all this yarn on our website Bicozy.com, Bicozy.net. And uh, our office is located in Holland, Michigan. If you are local or if you're close to us, please feel free to stop by. Today we will be using Bicozy Chunky Chanel yarn in beautiful blush color. And we will be making this gorgeous new pattern, which is a basket weave, but with cables in the middle. So you see how beautiful it is? Yeah, we will be making, uh, we will be changing from purl to knit stitch, uh, which is pretty easy, just two stitches purl and knit, and then making a small cable in the middle of the knitted part. So this will be a blanket 40 by 60. It's a medium size blanket. We will be using seven skeins of this beautiful yarn. We have 47 colors available uh, at Bicozy.com of solid colors. We also have variegated Chanel, we have Jumbo Chanel, and many other chunky colors for hand knitting. So if you're ready, please buy yarn at our store. We're shipping uh, around the United States and worldwide. And if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, guys, if you're ready, let's get started. So we will be using this beautiful blush color. It's a uh, Picozzi Chunky Chanel blush, and we will be using six of them uh, uh, for the size 40 by 50, and seven skeins for the size 40 by 60, which is a medium size blanket. So how we will start. So we will place the yarn in front of us. And first of all, let's make a knot on the end of the yarn. That will prevent the yarn from unraveling uh, and also prevent unraveling when blanket is washed because this blanket can be washed. So place the yarn in front of you like that. This is the tail, this is working yarn. Now, you need to place working yarn on the top of the uh, tail and uh, make a loop like this. So when you have a loop, you insert your hand inside the loop, grab working yarn and pull it out. So I'm holding these two ends of the yarn and I'm pulling loop out. So we, we just made the first stitch. The stitch is pretty big as you can see, so what we will do now, we will pull it down pulling walking yarn, not the tail, and we will make it about, maybe about an uh, inch, a little bit over inch. What are we doing now? So now we will be making a, a chain or casting on. To make a chain, we will be inserting our hand inside this first stitch, grabbing walking yarn and pulling it out. So this is our second stitch. You can see it's approximately the same size. So that's what you need to try to make all stitches the same size. And for this reason, we will be pressing the bottom of the stitch that it wouldn't be going up when you're making another stitch. Then you will insert your fingers, grab working yarn and pull the third stitch out. And again, press the uh, stitch and then make another stitch. So this way your stitches will be uh, about the same size and they will look beautiful on the finished blanket. Also when you're making the first uh, uh, chain, the cast on chain, the first row of this uh, chain, try to make stitches a little bit bigger than the stitches you will be making when you are knitting the blanket itself. The reason you need stitches on the cast on chain a little bit bigger, because this way your blanket will be even. If you make this chain too tight, the stitches will be too small, the blanket, the final blanket will look like that. And we need it nice and straight. So here we are. 
as I said, we will need 24 stitches for this blanket to make it about 40 inches wide, maybe about 38 if you're knitting tighter. So let's count. I'm counting stitches usually by this openings either on the top, bottom or on the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, perfect. 24 stitches. So what are we doing now, guys? Now we are uh, flipping this chain on another side like that. And now we will start knitting our uh, pattern. So the reason we flipped it, because this way the chain, this chain will be on the bottom of the blanket and the blanket will look really beautiful. So first stitch, uh, we are going from underneath, inserting our hand or fingers, grabbing working yarn and pulling it out. Second stitch, we are taking this middle part of the stitch, not the top, not the bottom, the middle part. You are uh, putting your fingers inside this loop. See this loop, so uh, bumps, you can see them. That's the part we're using. Insert your fingers underneath. Grab working yarn and pull it out. And we just made the second stitch, okay? So what are we doing now, guys? Now we will be purling four stitches, okay? To purl, we're taking the same stitch over here and the working yarn goes on the top like that. See, it was on the back when we were knitting, making a simple knitting stitch. Now the yarn goes on the top and we're pushing this yarn through the stitch. We will need to make four, four purl stitches. So using again bump in the middle, uh, working yarn goes through that bump and make it about the same size. So one, two, and we are making four purl stitches. See, we just made two knitted stitches and four purled. Now we will be making four knitted stitches again, okay? The same way this bumps only yarn will go on the back of the chain, okay? So here we are lifting it, grabbing working yarn, pulling it out, lift, Insert your fingers, grab working yarn, pull it out. And this way, four stitches. So one, two, three, four purled, one, two, three, four needed. The same for the next four, switching to purl. Working yarn goes here. You're lifting the middle part of the stitch with your left hand and pushing the yarn through. One purled, two purled, three purled, and four, here we are. Now, we are switching and we're making four knitted. One, two, three, and four. And then we are switching again and we're making four purled. Using the same bump, yarn on the top, push yarn through, try to make all stitches the same size, guys, that will look beautiful on the finished blanket, okay? So we have four. Now we have two more. This one we will be knitting. So uh, I am knitting two last stitches on both sides. That will create a beautiful, uh, like a, uh, line on the end, okay? So what are we doing now? Now we will be knitting the same way. This uh, You can see the stitches. So these two knitted, we are knitting. Then next four, we are purling. And we will be knitting this way for four rows, guys, okay? So it's easy to remember. So we made the first, now it's this is second. Uh, one, two, and then we will make three and four, okay? So four rows of the same pattern. Two, uh, two knitted on both sides, and then four purled, four knitted. 
for purled for knitted. So it's basically our basket weave pattern when you are alternating knitted and uh, purled stitches in small boxes. The only difference will be that we will be actually making four, 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 and two. We will be making a cable knit in the middle of the knitted stitches. Okay, I will show you how to do it. So I will make two more rows. I will come back and will show you what we will be doing next. Okay, guys, so we made four rows. You can easily count it. One, two, three, four. What, and see this beautiful chain on the bottom? That's why we flipped that cast on chain because that will give you this uh, beautiful look of the blanket on the bottom. So what are we doing now? When we have four rows, we will be doing cable knit in the middle of each part that was needed. So this two, I forgot to mention, I skip the first stitch in every row. So see, I am just laying it here and I'm going to the next uh, stitch. That will give you this chain the same as on the bottom on the side. The side will be nice and clean. It will not be curly or wavy and uh, you will use a little bit less yarn too. So it's very easy. See, I made the last stitch and then I'm just skipping the stitch. I'm just sitting here and I'm going to my next stitch to the second one, okay? That's very easy. But it, look, it will look much, much better if you do it this way. So now we have four purled stitches. We're still purling them. One, two, three, four. Now we are, you see these four knitted stitches? We will make a cable here in the middle. Uh, yarn goes on the back. And for cable, we will uh, purl, or I'm sorry, knit this first. These two last stitches, see these two stitches? We pull them and put them up front, and now we will need these two. So very simple, you're just knitting third and fourth, and then this first goes crisscross, and that will be your cable. So first stitch and second. This is our cable knit. We just made one cable, and now we will be uh, purling this four. One, two, three, and four. Now we will be making the same cable on this blanket, okay? So this goes up front, this two, third and fourth needed first, third, fourth, and then crisscross this two and two, and now you need in first and second. And that's how it will look. Now we will be purling our next four uh, stitches, the same pattern, see? And then we will be knitting this last two. See, I am knitting the last stitch. Now, when the row starts, I am skipping the first stitch. It's just laying here, and I'm going to the second one. There's nothing uh, difficult, just keep it laying there. Now, purl next four, and then when you are here, actually, I will need to connect more yarn to connect the yarn. I make a simple knot and then pull it in two different directions until you can feel that there is no way to pull. And then cut the tail close to the knot, like that. So this is our connection. You will not really see it on the blanket. This is the easiest way of connection, and uh, some people are burning ends. That's another way to connect it. I do not like burning because it gives you this little plastic uh, part in the middle. I don't like feeling of it. So here's uh, our cable knitted uh, part. 
we will need to need these four stitches the way they are laying. So this stitch, this stitch, and then make sure you needed this too because those are kind of hiding on the back. It's very easy to forget about them and the whole pattern will be ruined. See, this is our beautiful cable. Now we are purling our next four and then we're doing the same with our two, uh, cable knitted area. So four stitches, knitting first, knitting second, third, and four. So make sure you're counting one, two, three, four. You knitted your cable. Now we are moving to knit our four purled. And we are knitting these two last stitches, okay? So what we will be doing next, guys? So we knitted four, remember? Then we did a cable, and now we knitted uh, one uh, after making cable. So it was four, one for cable, and now we will make uh, three more will be four and four and fifth one will be in the middle. So what I'm we doing, I'm skipping the first stitch, I'm going to the second one, and then I am simply knitting this pattern for three more rows because I, I just made one after cable. And this way we'll have four rows before cable and four rows after. So I will keep knitting two more rows and then I will come back and I will show you what we will be doing next for our pattern. Okay guys, so we are back and this is how it looks. Look, it looks very beautiful, but now we will be switching. Our pearled uh, area will become knitted and our knitted area will become pearled. How we will do that? So these two, on this side and on the other side, we're simply knitting, we're skipping our first stitch. See this, uh, see this beautiful chain, what we make? And uh, now where it was purled, we will be simply knitting these stitches, okay? So one, two, three, four. We knit it, and this way we will have our literally basket weave pattern. So these four we are purling. One, two, three, and four. So when you are making this cable, to, you need to watch what side you are making them from. So like we made this cable uh, knitting this way. So that's the way you will need to make your cable if you want all cables look to the left. If you want to have these cables, the next cable will be here. If you want your cable here to look this direction, then you can make it uh, when you're knitting this way. But I am uh, trying to make them all look in the same direction if I know what I mean, and I will show you uh, in a few rows when I'm ready to make a cable. Okay, guys, so we have four rows. Remember, we made four rows here, then we made the cable, and then we made four more rows before we switched. So you can see the pattern started forming, and now we have this four, uh, rows that remember these two stitches we are simply knitting and these two we will be uh, making a cable. So first we will be knitting a th third and fourth then crisscross these two and then you're knitting second and first. Okay, here we are. So we will have cable in the same direction as here, okay? That's why you need to remember that when you're making cable, it will be always when you're knitting to the right. Then you will have uh, cables in the same direction, okay? It will look neat on the finished product. So here we are, we will make another one. Uh, third, fourth, cable, second first, then knee, uh, pearl four, sorry, and then we'll make another cable. 
So again, you need in third, you need in fourth, and then cable, and you need in these two guys. And then our end two. So see, that is the whole pattern. So now I will need four more rows, and I will switch again. So the kneaded part will become purled, and purled will become kneaded. And that's the whole pattern. It's simple uh, basket weave with cables in the middle. So I will be uh, kneading this pattern, and uh, when I have about three and a half weeds of the blanket left, three and a half or four, I will come back and I will show you how to finish this blanket. Okay, guys, we are back. Uh, we are done with this beautiful blanket. Look at this beautiful blanket. It's a beautiful pattern. I love it. And what we will be doing now, we will be casting off. Finishing or casting off. We will need, as I mentioned, uh, f three and a half, four weeds uh, of the blanket uh, for the yarn left. So one, two, three, and four. That will be enough for uh, finishing up or casting off. So how we will be doing it? We will be taking our first two stitches together, and then we will insert our tail inside and we will need this two and make one stitch. Now, one stitch will go on your hand, and this is our pearl stitch that lost some stitch. Okay, so now we add the stitch to the one on your hand, and then we are knitting them together, okay? And then we will keep doing this way. Uh, the main thing to remember here, Try to make the stitches a little bit bigger because if you make them too small, uh, you will have a blanket looking like that. And we are trying to make this blanket beautiful and straight. And it's not easy when stitches are different. So like this is uh, knitted and the other one are purled. They're also trying to escape, see? Make sure that they are here the uh, stitch is finished and then keep knitting two stitches at a time up to the end of the row. Okay, guys, we are done with uh, casting off. We have only two stitches left, one here and one here. So we will put them together and we will knit them together into the last stitch. So we have last stitch, then the tail goes inside of it and you pull it to finish the blanket. Now I'm usually making a knot on the end uh, also on this end, and then I am weaving in this end. I'm going underneath this chain, see we have beautiful chain. I'm going on the back of the chain, and then up front. On the back of the chain, and up front. And we are simply going back and forth. Here we are, okay? So uh, on the back, you can hide this uh, knot like that, see, uh, Chanel yarn is very fluffy, you will not really see that weaved in, uh, and look at this beautiful blanket. So we will do the same on this side. I, uh, the knot unraveled, so I will make a knot. And then the same, we will go underneath the chain, and this tail is pretty small, so we will just tuck it in on the back like that. See, you will not really see it. So this is, by the way, the end, I mean, the back of the blanket of this pattern. It doesn't look bad, it just looks very different. Uh, 
you can use it on that side too but it looks really gorgeous on this side so again we use our beautiful blush chunky chanel because chunky chanel yarn you can find it at becausey.com becausey.net both website are ours uh, goes in the same uh, direction uh, where you can find uh, 47 colors of solid because the chunky Chanel yarn 26 colors of variegated and we also have 25 colors of Jumbo Chanel which is twi uh, one and a half times thicker than chunky check out because you.com make this beautiful blanket please leave me comments underneath the video and stay warm and be cozy Hey guys, my hand knitting book is ready for you to purchase. It can be purchased at becausey.com and on Amazon and also available as a e Kindle. It's a perfect gift for yourself or your loved one. It's the most unique uh, gift and book on the knitting market.